nephron structure and functions objective to understand the structure of a nephron in detail the excretory system in human beings consists of a pair of kidneys a magnified view of the longitudinal section of kidney shows two prominent regions a cortex and a medulla as we zoom into the cortex region it shows the presence of numerous nephrons each nephron has a bowman's capsule a proximal convoluted tubule a loop of henle a distal convoluted tubule that leads to a collecting duct nephrons are convoluted in the cortex region and straighten out as loops in the medulla region each nephron has a bowman's capsule which is a cup-shaped structure that has a layer made of squamous epithelial cells. In the cavity of the Bowman's capsule, there is a bundle of capillaries known as the glomerulus. The blood vessel entering the Bowman's capsule is known as the efferent arteriole and is thicker than the blood vessel exiting the capsule, which is thinner and is known as the efferent arteriole. The Bowman's capsule and the glomerulus together form the Malphigian body. This capsule extends into the proximal convoluted tubule PCT on the inner side. This tubule is lined by a brush bordered epithelium with numerous microvilli. This PCT leads into the loop of Henle which lies in the medulla region. It is U-shaped and has a descending limb and an ascending limb. This further leads into the distal convoluted tubule which is again seen in the cortex region and it finally joins the collecting duct. As blood flows through the glomerulus, water, salts and waste diffuse into the Bowman's capsule. This liquid then passes into the PCT and the loop of Henle where water and important salts are absorbed back into the blood vessel. Only the waste material like urea and some water molecules proceed into the DCT where more water may get absorbed into the interstitial fluid. This liquid formed is the urine which is released into the collecting duct. This finally trickles through the kidney into the ureta, which helps the passage of urine into the urinary bladder. After a while, the urine can be excreted from the bladder. To summarize, the excretory system in human beings consists of a pair of kidneys. The longitudinal section of kidney shows two prominent regions, a cortex and a medulla. Inside the kidney, we observed numerous nephrons. Each nephron has a Bowman's capsule, a proximal convoluted tubule, a loop of Henle, a distal convoluted tubule that leads to a collecting duct. In the cavity of the Bowman's capsule, there is a bundle of capillaries known as the glomerulus. As blood flows through the glomerulus, water, salts and waste diffuse into the Bowman's capsule. This liquid then passes into the PCT and the loop of Henle where water and important salts are absorbed back into the blood vessel. Only the waste material like urea and some water molecules proceed into the DCT where more water may get absorbed into the interstitial fluid. The liquid remaining in the DCT is the urine which is finally released into the collecting duct.